Another attack happening in another southeast state, a northern, a northern local government of Anambra State. You might be wondering what probably has happened again. This time, not about the seat at all, but it is about unknown gunmen who have, in the midnight, raid and set ablaze the Idamili North Local Government Area Secretariat and a magistrate court in the council. Imagine setting ablaze in the court and the local government headquarters in Anambra State. All these things are happening and yet we have a, you know, a governor in the state, we have a president who is probably less concerned about all these things that are happening of which it ought not to be. What is your thought to this? What is your own reaction to this pain development? We would like you to share it with us via the comment section. Some gunmen in the midnight raid set ablaze the Idemili North local government secretariat and a magistrate court in the council in Anambra State. Sarah so reporters gathered that the arsonist had entered the premises on Sunday night to carry out the attack. A staff member of the council told Sarah reporters that the hoodlums burnt all files in the sectariat, including the building. A video and pictures of the incident, which have gone viral on social media, shows that the entire building have been reduced to rubble. It was reduced to rubble. Vehicles parked inside the local government sectariat were also burned. The state police public relations officer, DSP Tochuku Ikenga, who confirmed the incident, said it was done by unidentified arsonists. Ikenga said, yes, the incident was confirmed and our men were there to restore normalcy. Right now, the fire has been put off and calm has been restored to the area. Meanwhile, a yet-to-be-identified policeman were reportedly shot dead in A.K. Oko Aguata local government area of the state. The policeman was said to be intercepted on a motorcycle by the assailant who shot and killed him. The incident occurred around 6.10 p.m. on Sunday. Aguata, a local government of Governor Chukuma Soludo, has come under serious attack by unknown gunmen ever since the government declared war on them. Ever since the government declared war on them, these people have started to attack the Aguata local government area since it is the local government area of Governor Chukuma Soludo who is the governor of the state. What is your own thought to this? Vehicles that are parked in the local government secretariat were all burnt. According to the video and pictures in, of the incident, which was seen on social media platform, of course, it gone viral, shows that the entire building have been reduced to rubble. What is your thought to this? Everything was burnt, every, you know, everything got burnt and, you know, so pathetic, unbelievable. Can you just imagine all these things happening in just one local government area? What is your own reaction to this? In the midnight, attacking local government secretariat and a magistrate court. It shows that these people did not even, you know, mind what might happen after mass of the incident. They are not concerned, imagine, born in court. It shows that they have no regard for the rule of law. What is your own point of view to this? Some reporters gathered that the arsonists have entered the premises on Sunday night to carry out the attack. So they were already, you know, in the premises to launch attack in the midnight. 
Let's see what people has felt to this incident that has just happened. Chijoki reacted and said, I don't understand this again. Na police or na unknown gunmen. What is actually happening in this country? What is your thought to this? Is it the police or the unknown gunmen? Nweke, just man, have also reacted and said, now it is becoming clearer that unknown gunmen are the police. You know, if you could recall, yeah, like three days ago, a stray bullet from battle between gunmen and our security operatives killed an NYC member along the Kaduna Abuja Road. Which group did we blame? We don't know the group to blame for that. And same yesterday, it was reported that chief officers were killed by gunmen in Bayesa. I didn't hear them mentioning any group or alleging, you know, challenging any group for such an you know, offense or accusing them of what has happened. An Okada man was shot dead in Lagos the previous week. No group was accused. But once it is happening in the southeast, even if it is your enemy that is targeting you, he will go you know, free because IPOB will surely carry the blame. Even a man that kills his wife from domestic violence will take her out shortly after then so that the normal customer of blame will carry the old blames. Can you just imagine all these things happening? I think it's high time we the Ebos open out our eyes and do the needful. And of course, you wouldn't blame the Ebos if they are silent about this because the same people will say your own is too much. Some people saying that you need to do the needful. That is the same people that will say you need to start coming down, saying that your own is too much. Frank David reacted and said, Chukuma Solido caused this problem. He assumed power instead of him to seek for dialogue. He declared war against the unknown gunmen, ESN, IPOP, and Biafrans in general. Little did he know that all Ibos are Biafrans. Little did he know that the mandate he now enjoyed as a governor was given to him by the same people he is declaring war against. Is it still time for him to retrace his step? What is your thought to this? Well, it just is time for him to retrace his step because he's still fresh in the office. That is what Frank David have said. Saying that instead of him to use dialogue, he as John Power can do everything instead of dialogue. He now declared war against unknown gunmen. He declared war against IPOP, the Eastern Security Network, and even Bear France in general. Has he forgotten that these people are the same people who orchestrated the way he became the governor of Anambra State? Who would like you to let us know your own point of view to this? Don't forget that unknown gunmen, policeman, born court, local government headquarters in Anambra. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on other news. Bye for now.